It is time for another metal detecting event, and it's going to happen right here in South Carolina. As many of our subscribers may know, we put on these metal detecting hunts at the Lost Dutchman Mining Association properties. And yes, Nogda jumps in there and sponsors these, and uh, Southern Relics goes in there and does what we do best. We go in there and have a great time, and we give away a bunch of stuff. I appreciate all of our sponsors to allow us to do that. Uh, but we got another metal detecting event coming up, and it's just a couple weeks away. The weather's starting to cool down a little bit. Matter of fact, it's beautiful this morning. It's about mid-60s. The wind's blowing. Man, I'm telling you, it's, a, it's, it's just perfect weather for a metal detecting event. The only thing we're hoping for between now and the next couple weeks is rain. We really need rain really bad. The ground is super, super dry, so... If we don't get any rain, it's going to be hard for us to get coins in the ground this, for the seeded hunts. And it's going to be really aggravating for the people who are trying to dig those things back out of the ground. But we hope to get some rain here in a couple weeks and uh, soften this ground back up. But yes, it's called Dirt Fest. And it's all taking place at the Oconee Gold Camp. So I have the event schedule right here. And it goes from September the 27th all the way to October the 13th. This is the entirety of Dirt Fest. So I'm going to kind of give you a couple things in here. Again, this is a gold prospecting camp. So a lot of this stuff is gold prospecting. So, so for some of our metal detecting guys who couldn't care less about gold prospecting, that's quite okay because they do are they are going to do some metal detecting stuff even when Southern Relics isn't there. So this may be something you still may be interested in. There is an upfront cost. The way they're doing this is, again, this is a gold camp. It's a campground. So the way this thing is set up, when you show up on day one and you want to stay for two weeks, you pay $100. That's all you pay is 100 bucks. If you're an LDMA member, you pay less than that. But for people who are not LDMA members, it's $100. And that takes care of your camping. If you can, if you can be out of work or if you're retired and you live in the area and you want to come up there and camp for two weeks, 100 bucks will do the trick for you. $100. Can you imagine that? $100 and you can camp for two weeks? You can't do it anywhere hardly but anyway so that's why they're going to do this thing is 100 bucks gets you on the property for the whole time now the whole time and you don't have to actually camp you can just pay the 100 bucks and if you live like here in south carolina and you want to go up there six seven days eight nine of the days and just go up there for the day 100 dollars, and that allows you to get there and start participating in other things and the way they got this thing laid out is they're going to have days where they have high bankers land dredges and trommels they pretty much have that throughout the entire two weeks and then also you have us southern relics will be there on october the first and october the fourth october the first is a tuesday and the fourth is a friday and uh i'll give you my schedule of how we're going to lay out those two days i'll give you that in just a minute also if later on in the month of the last week there which will be october 7th 8th and 9th they are going to do a gold and barbecue. Basically what that means is the caretaker, Ken up there, he is an excellent cook and he cooks barbecue and everybody loves it. And so they're gonna have a gold and barbecue. They're also gonna do a detector poker and a pay dirt scoops. So we're gonna do our best to make sure that you get quality for those two days if you wanna come for the Southern Relics portion of Dirt Fest. So on October the 1st, I'll go ahead and give you a rundown of what's going on October the 1st. October the 1st, we're going to have a morning meeting. I'm not sure what time they'll do that meeting. Probably 8, 8.30, 7. I don't know. I'm not sure. He hadn't given me that time yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to do some beginner, basic beginner metal detecting training courses. We're going to have two courses that morning and a maximum of 12 people per class. So we'll have two classes, one back to, uh, you know, back to back, two classes back to back and just hour and a half sessions and this is gonna be basic basic stuff okay we have a lot of subscribers we have a lot of people that actually watch the channel who are very well and very good metal detectors you may attend this event but you have got a lot of experience metal detecting you know your detector pretty well stuff like that this is not necessary for you if you know the basics of metal detecting and how all the basic stuff if you know that stuff don't sign up for that okay if you got a brand new metal detector and you don't know how to use it at all come to the class we'll see if we can help you out with it okay 
Especially if it's a note to detector. If it's a note to machine, and I'll even go ahead and say Garrett. The reason why I say Garrett, I'll have Chris there with me. Chris knows a Garrett machine, okay? He does know a Garrett detector. He knows a note to detector pretty well, but I know the note machines pretty good. Probably more than most. <laughs> but anyway, so that's a just training class, okay? And we'll do that all that morning of Tuesday. And then later on, we'll have lunch. And then right after lunch, we're going to have a game. It's a free game. We're not, we're not charging anybody for this game. It's a fun metal detecting game. And it's taking bingo and mixing it with metal detecting. I'll let you take the guesses on that one. And we'll give away something as well. We'll give away something during the training class for the people who participate for the training. We'll give everybody, not, uh, uh, like I said, so it'll be a door prize, okay? Not everybody's going to get one. Only one person's going to get something. And then also for this game here, this bingo metal detecting game, we're going to give away something as well. And then also, later on in that afternoon, about 3, 3, 3.30ish, something like that, we're going to do a seated hunt, okay? We're going to do a seated hunt right before dinner, and we're going to give away a metal detector as one of the door prizes, right? So everybody will get a ticket, we'll draw a winner, and somebody's going to take that metal detector home with them. But we're going to bury some silver, we're going to give away some gold and some silver. That's what we're doing on Tuesday. So you got the seated hunt. You got the bingo game with a little metal detecting twist to it and then training that morning. And then on Friday, we're going to do a detector challenge. It's metal detecting relay games, okay? Now, if you've participated in one of our events in the past, especially a year or so, year a year ago or older, okay? A year ago or older. So that would have been Vane Mountain 2023 or before. We did what we called dysfunctional detector hunts or dif dysfunctional detector challenge well that's what we're going to do again and we're going to mix it up a little bit more okay so we're going to do that friday morning that will probably take the majority of the morning on friday is just those and we'll give away some gold as well we're going to give them some gold away how about that and then in the afternoon we're going to do two things before the night hunt we're gonna have three hunts in the afternoon okay we're gonna have a creek hunt we're gonna have a seated hunt and we're gonna have a night hunt now let me go ahead and talk about this creek hunt for a minute if you were at loud mine in june and you was part of that it's gonna be like that but better okay again we're gonna give away some stuff as well and then also we're gonna have the uh seated hunt in the afternoon probably 3 3 30 ish something like that but it's all going to depend we might do the creek hunt about 3 30 because that'll be more along the lines of the warmest part of the day and then that evening we will finish everything out with a night hunt that friday night we'll have, we'll have that night hunt and we'll be done we'll break i'm gonna break everything down i'm going home everything is laid out for you every hunt we're going to give away a, a, a silver or gold or both and we're giving away two metal detectors. I've still got to get my hands on one more metal detector to give away, but I should be able to get that thing in the next week or two. And we're going to give that thing away as well. But we're going to give away some metal detectors. Uh, got some a pinpointer to give away, a um, bunch of stuff like digging tools and uh, you name it. I got all kind of stuff. And this is this is the last hunt that we're doing for the LDMA in 2024 for their dirt fests. It's the last one. So. We want to make it the best one, right? And it's right here. It's close to home. And uh, it's right here at Oconee Camp. And uh, just uh, uh, really, really looking forward to going up there and doing this event here in about three weeks. Anyway, so this ends the video. I just wanted to let everybody know what we're going to be doing. Myself and Chris will be there. Well, I'm going to say Chris should be there. Okay. He should be there with me. He, seriously, he should. So uh, me and Chris should be there together and uh, just have a great time up there but anyway if you're interested just reach out to the ldma uh you can you can ask me but I, I there's i'm limited on what i can tell you okay i can give you a phone number and i'll put all that stuff down in the description there's a website as well it's myldma.com i believe it's dot com um but go check that out as well and uh if it's something you're interested in you're, and you're able to go man go up there and have some good a good time maybe it's just a weekend maybe you're not there for southern relics maybe you just say you know i want to go up there and see what gold prospecting is all about go up there and spend a couple days on a weekend or whatever and just have a good time at it but anyway hope you enjoyed the video hope you have a good day god bless we'll see you next time and always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated see you